Hello and welcome to BA Publisher Basics and Beyond. So in this chapter, we would take the, take a look at more advanced features within Excel template. We will look at sorting this week. So as always, the zip file is available right below this video for download. So the zip file will have all the uh, files at different stages for uh, for you to play with. So our objective is to get more familiarized with Excel templates. We are going to learn about uh, sorting and how to use conditions to fill certain values and what is not possible with the Excel, Excel templates. So before we continue, um, let's make sure everything, all, all the required uh, uh, add-ins are installed. So, um, so we would start with the, you know, we'll start with the usual. We will copy the XDO metadata. Uh, we will, you know, you can name it anything. So we'll look at the basic template, you know, the, the, the data sample that we're going to use. We can have a root element. You can have multiple elements as an attribute. The num is an attribute. So we will start with building the basic template. So I would, uh, you know, I have placed the template already. So we can start with the basic template. Let's go ahead and uh, build the basic template. So I'm, I've, I've copied the template that we used before. So um, this template, it basically has uh, the employee detail and you know total salary that we created so let's go ahead and test it out before we create the group so in order to create so you would get the template viewer we'll refresh i'm going to get the first one make sure you select excel and run so at this point so if you see the formatting failed um, you can always go and uh, error uh, maximum log and start processing so it'll give you more details about uh, where it failed so let's go ahead and look at that so this is template so go ahead and run the uh, processing again so this time it worked so we can we, we, we can see the data if you look at the uh, data you, you notice that the department name is not sorted properly so let's go ahead and sort it um, so, so let's see how we can do it so in order for it to sort what we have to do is we have to create a new group and um, we are going to sort it we're going to select we, we, we're going to create basically a new group by selecting the root as a row and we're going to select the sort condition for each so basically we can select the for, for we're, we're going to add a a new element which is a group and we're going to sort it. Let's go ahead and add this. So I have added a new group and I have selected the row and I'm sorting it by the department name and for each. So at this point, uh, I haven't changed anything. So if I look at the, um, it's the same group that I used before, I didn't change the group. Before we make any changes, let's go ahead and run this. This is uh, it's two. You still have the department name not sorted. Let's go ahead and change the group. So in order to change the group, we go to Edit Name Manager, and edit, and replace this group with the new group. So the new group is your group details. Let's copy that, and uh, let's copy and paste. Let's go ahead and click OK. Close. Let's go ahead and test it out. So you can see the department name is now sorted. So uh, let's you notice that these these uh, department names are empty. Let's go ahead and put a value there. So to do to so sorting index is similar to uh, the XML template. So I've included it here. So we can replace the current group. So we the output. Plus two for if department head the department name is null. Let's replace it with HQ. So to do that, uh, we're going to add a new field. Of course, we're going to add a new field. Let's view a new field. Then uh, we're going to add an X if condition. So we're going to say if string length of the department name is equal to is not equal to zero, then we are going to select department name. 
if it's if the string length is equal to zero we're going to select the value as hq let's go ahead and add it so here i have typed in a main department you can change it to hq if you want and uh, let's go ahead and run it sample four well at this time we haven't mapped it to here so there should not be any impact let's go ahead and run it So as we expected, nothing changed. Let's go ahead and add the, the new department between these two columns. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and insert a new row. Set a new department. Okay. okay. Let's go ahead and map the field. Go ahead and get the name from here. details click OK go ahead click OK close let's go ahead and run this so you can see the new department name is coming I, I replace it with its main department uh, main department so let's try to sort it by the new department so let's try maybe let's try moving uh, moving the department down to the bottom and try changing the name to new department let's see if this works so we didn't change anything here let's go ahead and try it So you notice that uh, we we did not see, even though it took the variable we did not sort it by the uh, the new department name. So we, this tells me that we cannot uh, we cannot use the new variable that's defined for sorting. Um, let's try one more thing. Let's go ahead and rename this with uh, uppercase and see if it works. So let's go ahead and add the new department. And let's uh, we change the case uh, to uppercase. Let's see if uh, if that works. At least we should be able to see the data. Can start processing. Notice that the the data is uh, missing. So in so you notice so this concludes that the value is has to be case sensitive. The field that you have defined and the field that you mapped is to case sensitive. So let's go ahead and put it back to new department. Or let's go ahead and change the um, meta metadata definition. Oops, sorry. Go ahead and run it. We can see that at least the data came in and the sorting doesn't work. So the so we so we know that the sorting with the new field will not uh, work. Uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and update this field also. Let's go ahead and try different combinations. We can try with the uh, you know slash slash. Um, go ahead and try that. I know this one work, and I, I want you to try different combinations just to just to get a feel of it. So this doesn't work. So one thing what we noticed that the employee name and the employee number are switched. Let's go ahead and switch it around. So if you know the employee name is employee number, let's go to Edit Manager, employee number. I'm going to switch it to so this, at this point it's it's pointing to D8. So let's switch it to employee number and employee name. I'm going to ask you for G, employee name. Let's go ahead and edit it. Let's go ahead and point it to this one. 
go ahead and save it and run it. So we switch that around. So, so we get so we have seen how to create a new field. So we're gonna add new column. Give you the we can replace it with HQ. I replace it with main department. And we're going to use the template viewer to see the data. So we're going to add we can add you know header rows and colors to beautify it. So that concludes this chapter. So in this chapter, we looked at how the XDO metadata is used for sorting, and uh, we tried out a few things and we tried out the limitations of uh, of the of the XML based temp of the Excel templates. Um, let's go ahead. You know, we will in the next few chapters we will look at more advanced features with the Excel templates. Um, so uh, definitely try it out. Try different combinations. Try you know the, the idea is you know to get more hands-on so so you'll be uh, you know you'll, you'll learn better by uh, trying it out thank you